Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first edition of the A Collision with Purpose Project under the spotlight. Here, individuals are given the opportunity to explore self in pursuit of their purpose. I am Dr. Laxley Stevenson, and I'm your host. The A Collision with Purpose Project allows individuals to pause, listen, engage self reflection, be introspective, and explore self in pursuing their purpose to unleash possibilities with far reaching implications for self and for others. Today, the A Collision with Purpose Project Spotlight is on Ms. Donna Thompson. Ms. Thompson is a mompreneur, an international best selling author. She is a clinical informatics specialist who enjoys teaching and inspiring individuals to attain their full potential. Donna is a member of the Paleontology Association of Georgia and the Georgia Lupus Foundation. She is the vice president of A&J General Contractor Inc. and co-founder of DBL and DLT Creations LLC. Folks, let us welcome Ms. Donna Thompson to the A Collision with Purpose Project Spotlight. Hi, everyone. Happy to be here. Happy to be here. Donna, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the A Collision with Purpose Project on the Spotlight. I am looking forward to having an engaging, insightful, and interactive conversation with you about a topic which I believe is arguably one of the most consequential concepts in forming how we function as individuals and ultimately how we perceive our legacy. Right, right, absolutely. Um, I am happy to be here to definitely have this conversation with you, Dr. Stevenson. So I am looking forward to um, what we're gonna discuss here this evening. Great yes. topic. Awesome. So Donna, today you're going to explore self in pursuit of your purpose. I will be asking you a series of questions relating to purpose. Donna, are you ready to conduct an exploration of self in pursuit of your purpose? Oh, yes. Um, yes, let's dive into it. Absolutely. Let's see what we figure out, right? Well, you, you seem so excited. This must be a topic that is of, 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 of serious importance for you. Uh, yeah, it is. Yes, absolutely. Um, living in purpose is, 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 is definitely an important uh, topic for me and a way of life. I'm trying to make it way of life. Oh, that, that, that is what I, I like to hear, a way of life. So Donna, you know that purpose is one of those concepts that seem to challenge so many of us. You know, when asked, what is purpose? Many individuals tend to fumble with the question. Often they can give you a very descriptive answer. To that question. So given that is the case, I believe that any conversation about purpose should begin with a definition of purpose. Would you be so kind as to define purpose for our listeners? Sure, I'll do my best <laughs> in my defining purpose. Um, but you know, like, like um, everything else, it's, it's something that you you have a goal or a task that you're wanting to do. And within that, there is, of course, there's an end result. You want to have an end result. There has to be an end result. But overall, there's a reason. That, and that's what, I guess, drives your purpose is the reasoning behind why you're doing what you're doing, why you're taking specific actions to get to that end result. And uh, with that, you know, someone's purpose can be many different things. You know, everybody, everyone doesn't necessarily have the same purpose. So it could be purpose within your life, purpose within your job, purpose within your relationship. You know, it could just be any, anything um, personally, but ultimately it is, it is an action looking for an end result. It's an action aimed at an end result. So given that that is the case, an action aimed at an end result, is it important for a person, yourself included, to understand their purpose? 
Well, for myself, absolutely. It's very important for me to understand my purpose so that I can align everything that I'm doing within my life to my purpose. You know, my, my daily life, I want to make sure that it's aligned with my purpose so that for myself, my life is not, um, and I'm just not living in vain. You're not living in vain. All right. So let's talk about your purpose, your specific purpose. What is your purpose? Can you speak to that? Sure. Absolutely. My specific purpose is to serve humanity. Serving humanity in whatever aspect I am capable of doing, whatever skill sets I have, whatever gifts I've been blessed with, I want to make sure that I impart uh, my knowledge, my kindness, my empathy, whatever it is that I have within me that, that I've been blessed with. I want to make sure that I'm, I'm serving others. I'm giving back to my community, whether it's here, it's internationally. I am making a, a positive impact on someone's life. I want to make sure that at the end of the day, the footprints that I'm leaving on this planet, they are positive. They're good footprints that I'm leaving. And that I have, you know, I've had a positive impact on someone's life. Every single person that I come in contact with, I, I, I want to try to make sure that I am imparting something positive, whether it's a word of encouragement or, um, or helping, or, you know, if there's a need and there's something that I can help with to make sure I can, I can fill those gaps. So, so really, as, my purpose is really overall is, is serving mankind, is serving humanity. Humanity. So as you walk through this journey, called life it is important for you to leave a footprint a footprint that is going to make a difference in the lives of many absolutely it's 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 yeah my my important legacy that i want to make sure that i'm, I'm leaving a good a good footprint and positive impact on humanity so a concept that is floating out there, and you hear this all the time, and you've said it as well, aligning your life with your purpose, your actions with your purpose, living on purpose. Talk to us about that. Well, for me, living on purpose, first off, is to, once again, going back to that, knowing the reason why you're doing what you're doing. So, you, you know, I look at my why, my who and what, um, what am I doing and, you know, why am I doing it? And once I'm able to, at least for myself, I know why I'm doing the things that I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> because like I said, it's, it's leaving a positive impact on humanity. You know, if I can change just one person's life uh, to, you know, give them hope, um, then my job has been done. So for myself, it's, it's, it's important that I make sure on a daily basis, I am aware, I stay in awareness. I try to live in awareness of what my purpose is, what I want to accomplish, remind myself why I'm doing the things that I'm doing. So once of it is also, you know, part of it is just being aware, living in awareness. And once, once I know that I'm living in awareness, then I become more intentional in the things that I'm doing and the lives that I'm impacting and my surroundings on a whole. You know, I try to make sure I align myself and, and have a circle of individuals, uh, like-minded people, so to speak, where we may not have the same necessarily purpose, but we do have a goal. We do have some type of a purpose that we're working towards. So you, you mentioned circle, circle of individuals. Is it common to have discussions about purpose in your circle? In my circle, it is. It, it, in my circle, it's, it's very common. And um, <clears throat> once again, like I said, 
I've been intentional, so to speak, with the individuals who are in my circle, because I know that I want to live a certain way. I have uh, certain aspirations, certain goals. So with that, I myself, I am more intentional with the individuals who are in my circle. So you find that the people who are in my circle, yes, we're like-minded, where we all have a purpose in whatever we're doing, our existence, why we're here and the things that we want to do. And so we all, we work towards those things and we, we help to empower each other, to support each other so that we can keep the course and stay on path as to what it is that we're trying to accomplish in this life. Let, let's talk about your, your work. You're a clinical informatics specialist. You are a member of the Paleontology Association of Georgia, and you are also a member of the Georgia Lupus Foundation. Talk to me about that and how does it align with, with your purpose? You know, it's <laughs> it's so funny because it almost seems like everything that I do, it, it's either it's far left or far right <laughs> because none of it really, it's not like a puzzle if you think of it for some people, but specifically for my life, it fits. My puzzle fits because everything that I do in all those different arenas, it's giving back to humanity in some shape or form. Um, as a clinical informatics specialist, I train physicians. I train physicians to where I know that I am imparting a certain knowledge on them to make sure they can go out and do the best job that they can do when they're caring for our patients, which once again, that goes back to our humanity, making sure that we have the best information that we need. Um, <clears throat> Paleontology Association, uh, once again, that it's um, it's scientific. It's, it's about prehistoric uh, creatures, but once again, it's all about humanity and, and studying humanity and or the things that we need to be here as far as mankind and to sustain humanity in um, having a healthy planet and how to care for our planet and how to care for um, each other. So even though it's scientific and it's, it's kind of like going back to, you know, when people hear about paleontology, they think about dinosaurs and stuff like that, but it's just so much more because it's, it's, it's all encompassed taking care of humanity and your environment. Um, and the Lupus Foundation is the same thing. You know, individuals who, families, friends who have lupus, you know, once again, going out in the community, seeing what the needs are with families who may not have access to the information or need help with getting, you know, to different places for their care. You know, that's also a part of giving back to mankind, giving, serving, serving um, humanity. So once again, even though they're kind of like all over, but they all have a common goal, which is to serve and take care of mankind, take care of humanity. And um, of course, the DBL and uh, D DLT creations, once again, it's the same thing. And being an author, you know, I've been blessed. I've been blessed to where I am, you know, a best-selling author. And I have an organization, a company, DBL and DLT Creation, with the intention that our company will flourish to where, you know, we can offer or nonprofits, we can offer proceeds from our company's um, sales and, you know, things of that nature to nonprofit organizations who are also in alignment with what our beliefs and our values are. So it's... Um, all the things that I'm doing, it, it, it's separately, they don't seem to make sense and they probably would not make sense for someone else. But for myself, it's my perfect puzzle that fits perfect together. But, so there's a connection with the, all that, that you do. Yes. And, yes, and, and it's all pointed at, at towards serving and, and, and giving 
and promoting humanity. Yeah, which which is what are us, you know, who are us without without humanity? So you 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 stated that you are living in your purpose and, and you're aligned with your purpose. What about those individuals who are struggling with aligning their, themselves to their purpose? What about them? How do you, what do you have? What do you say? How, what recommendations do you have? Well, them? first, I would say that one of the most important thing is to always take time for yourself. Take some me time to sit and really do a self-evaluation, a deep self-evaluation of what it is that you like, what you don't like, you know, find your whys, you know, what is it I'm doing? Why am I doing it? Who is it serving? What is the results that I want? You know, take some time to, to really ask yourself those questions. And if you, if you can't answer them, write them down. You know, like a lot of times, you know, you may have so many thoughts in your head, you can't really put them all together, put them on paper, you know, put your whys on paper and, and document why you're doing things, what you're doing. And within that, you will find, you will find your purpose and you'll find why you're doing what you're doing and you'll find what it is that's tugging at you and whatever it is that's tugging at you more than likely that's what you need to follow. That innate gut feeling that keeps pulling at you, that keeps finding you every now and then. And when you do it, you feel good. You feel satisfied. That's probably the thing that you should be going after. And I would say one of the, the most important thing is, is when, you're, when you're trying to find your purpose and you're trying to define who you are, is always know that Take a chance on yourself is okay. Take a chance on you. It's okay. And do not let others define you. And don't let others define what your purpose in this life is. Because you, you will not be fulfilled. You will not be happy if you're living on someone else's purpose, to be honest with you. You have to find your own purpose in your own being your own fit, your own perfect piece of puzzle. Doesn't matter what anyone else say, find your place. And, and you'll find that once you find it, you're going to find peace. You're going to find that you feel a lot more fulfilled. So how did you find your place? Was there a series of events that triggered something, turn on a light bulb in you or something? Yeah, <laughs> I feel like a whole lot of events. Mm -hmm. um, so. You know, for myself, I think I've always, I've always been living within my purpose, just never didn't recognize it. I, I, you know, probably, or I'm just, you know, or just running away from it really. And, um, what happened to me was in 2020, I was actually furloughed from my employer for quite some time. It was probably almost a year that I was out of work and of course it was a very hard time and it was a very traumatic time. But within that time, I was able to, I had my quiet time. That was my quiet time, my me time to really do self-reflection, self-evaluation, where I was going, what I wanted to do, and to really reflect on the things that I was doing and the, the path that my life was on. And if that's what was really fulfilling for me mm -hmm. and, um, Within that time, I was able to write. I was able to write. I was able to start my company with my son. We were able to start our company together. And also, I was blessed. Even though it was a bad time, it was a really bad time. But within the bad time, good things were happening within that bad time. And I was blessed to have been invited to Global Humanity Network, which is a nonprofit organization. And they all, they're all about serving humanity and giving back to humanity and, and everything. But when I was invited to um, a meeting with the organization, I wasn't really 100% um, aware of everything that they were about until I actually attended the meeting. 
And once I attended the meeting, I was interested and I was like, okay, so I'll, you know, continue going. And as I heard the members, you know, talking and different things that was going on and different projects that they were working on, I was just like, wow, like that was my light bulb moment. Like I found my place, like all this time, it's almost like I was being prepared the things that was happening in my life and the events that was happening in my life. It was almost a foundation and a preparation that was taking place to just kind of like collide me with Global Humanity Network. Mm -hmm. So, so, my place. so, so Donna, through going through some challenging times, a year out of work, meaning no money's coming in, mm -hmm. having a son, taking mm -hmm. care of your family, that would have toppled many individuals but you saw it fit to convert that into an opportunity to explore self in pursuit of your purpose it seems to me and i, and I commend you for doing that because as i said a number of individuals would have folded and so you saw an opportunity and indeed you had your collision with your purpose i absolutely did i sure did but you know it was interesting what was interesting it's, it's almost like i don't know if it was if i if i saw it as an opportunity or what was happening it was it was just a weird it was just a weird thing it was almost like what was happening needed to happen it was mm -hmm. it was where i needed to be at that particular time so that i can really reflect on what it is that I really wanted to do and what where I'm happiest where I'm happiest so you know things just it, everything just aligned it's almost like things were aligning themselves and I was just I was just there to follow to be obedient to what was happening even mm -hmm. though it was very challenging it's, it's it's as though I was just there to be obedient I I, I kind of like just folded and say hey you know lead me to where i need to be put me where i need to be and that was just the path that was happening well you know i commend you for seeing opportunities and difficulties but that's exactly what you what happened and and, and converting you know your that difficult situation into a very positive one here now we're talking about your purpose and the discovery of it. So I, I that's just commendable, and I, 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 you know, congratulate you for doing that. And I think that's that's a big, big message for many individuals, because enough of uh, enough of us face challenges all the time, but it's how we respond to these challenges. Absolutely. That will frame you know our outcomes. So again. I commend you on that. So, you know, we have different kinds of, you know, individuals, individuals with different interests that will probably be listening to you speak. What can you share two specific advice and as to as to what they can, you know, do to discover their purpose and, and just to understand and live on their purpose? What do you have to offer them? Two specific advice that I have, um, going back to something I said earlier, first thing is do not allow someone else to define your purpose. The second piece of advice I would say is Take some time, get a journal, write down your what, your whys, your who, your end results. And within that, and be honest with yourself, be honest with yourself. And within that, you will find your purpose. If you're in a hard time, flip that hard time and find the positive. Because sometimes when you're in the dumps and the hardest time of your life, 
is when you discover your true purpose. Not what you think it is or what you thought it was or what you've been living. But when you're in the dumps and you're in the really, really, really hard times, sometimes that's when you discover your true purpose. So if you're going through something very difficult, find the positive in it, take it as a learning lesson and find opportunities in those hard times. I know that was two, that was more than, more than two, two things. <laughs> the more the merrier. <laughs> the more the merrier. You know, one can never walk away from good advice. So, you know, I, I know I said two, but the more good advice we receive, the better off we'll be. So we're coming close to the, to the end of this conversation. Is there anything else you'd like to add and share? And what would you like our audience to take away from our discussion today? In addition to those two advice that you just gave us, what else would? I would say, you know, I would definitely encourage you to align yourself with individuals who are going to pour into you, who are going to help to uplift you and see the greatness that you have so that you can, you too can live your life in your fullest potential, what you were created here to be, what you're here for, you know, find those individuals, look into your circle, just surround yourself with people who are going to pour into you and help you to, to elevate yourself. You know, one thing that I think I've learned is that if you're in a room and you're the smartest person in that room, you probably don't belong there. Surround yourself with individuals who you can always learn from and who they're definitely going to push you to the next level. I agree with you completely. And I think that is solid advice. Find individuals who can lift you up. Take Absolutely. You take you beyond, beyond your belief system. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. So Donna, I want to thank you for joining me today on the A Collision with Purpose Project. Your insights will undoubtedly add immense value to the conversation about purpose. I tell you, I am looking forward to having you back on this program in fact, I'm, I'm going to extend an open invitation to have you back. Do you accept that invitation? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Thank you for that extended invite. I would look forward to being back. Absolutely. So we can talk some more about purpose and other exciting stuff. <laughs> the exciting. Because, you know, purpose is one of those fleeting, moving targets. You know, and, and, and one, as, as we live, we continue to, you know, engage different initiatives that, that, that align with our purpose. So we'll have much more to discuss, I'm sure. Yeah, much absolutely. Okay, folks, this brings us to, this, to the end of this edition of the A Collision with Purpose Project under the spotlight. If you're like most individuals and would like to develop a better understanding of your purpose, then please submit your short video to a collision with purpose at gmail.com. And if you would like to participate in an interview, much like this one, then submit your request to be interviewed to a collision with purpose at gmail.com. Please note that your video submission and your interview will be posted on our social media platforms. That is it for now. Blessings always.